show you how you can easily change 1099 amounts for specific vendors when you're doing your 1099 reporting at the end of the year. Let's take a look at this vendor here. First up, consultants. This vendor has been identified as a 1099 vendor. You can see the box identified here and also that federal ID number. We can get current 1099 amounts on this vendor. If we go to more options here, related, history, 1099 statistics. You can see from this box here that we have already paid this vendor $3,900 in non-employee compensation. Now let's say we want to change that amount. We want to add $500 to that. So the way to do that is to go to the 1099 form boxes. We've got quite a few here. Let's go to the non-employee compensation box. I can filter on that. I've previously set this up. We'll go right to that box here. We can add an entry right here. I'll click on this. And we'll add a new entry. Look up the vendor. So we're going to add $500 to 2021. This will change the amount on the 1099 report that we send to the federal government. We'll go to the reporting here and we'll preview the 1099 report. Here's the 1099 amount for this particular vendor. We started at $3,900 for the year. We added $500, so the current amount now is $4,400. And that's how you change the 1099 amount for specific vendors in Business Central. Mm -hmm.